Boston Dynamics set the new standard for robotics when they released their Spot robot. It has already been used for a variety of applications, including surveillance, mapping, and even grabbing you a drink. But with a price tag of $75,000, it's not exactly affordable to everyone. So are there any worthy opponents out there? Well, the answer is a resounding yes, and the market is about to get a lot more competitive. Now the first four-legged robot we look at is the Alpha Dog, and it's one of the cheapest starting at around $2,400. Now, it can balance itself through a hybrid motion control system, and it can also obediently take a kick or two, at least for now. The Alpha can travel 9 miles per hour, and constantly adjust to its terrain. However, it is reliant on 5G, so fast internet speed is essential for autonomy, therefore it's not completely independent. Moving on, we get to the A1. Yet another startup company based just outside of Shanghai is releasing a series of robotic pets. The A1 is a part of this group, and it will cost around $10,000, which is a little bit pricey, but it's quite a bit cheaper than its predecessors. It observes the world with a powered depth sensing camera, and can transmit HD footage in real time. It also can carry 11 pounds, hit 7 miles per hour, and operate several hours on a single charge. Now, the A1 also offers a few out-of-the-box mods, including the ability to follow its owner without a leash but it also will be compatible with additional modules in the future. Now the next machine is from MIT, and it's a lightweight, agile robot capable of performing many incredible maneuvers. The Cheetah was designed for modularity, so motors or arms can be swapped out easily for new ones. So pretty much you don't have to worry about breaking this thing. Overall, it's a high torque, low inertia design, so its feet are only touching the ground for 150 milliseconds at a time. This allows it to do really dynamic moves, like jumping in the air or even sidestepping on rough terrain. Now, the Cheetah 3 to me is really interesting because an algorithm helps a mechanical creature determine the best time to transition a leg between a swing and a step by constantly calculating the probabilities of each leg's movements. So it's not heavily reliant on vision, unlike the other robots. And the robot can recover when it encounters an unexpected stumbling block such as a rock or a twig. So these calculations enable the robot to decide when it's safe to commit its footstep or when it's more prudent to pull back. Moving on, we get to the Max. And this particular robot can walk, run, jump, and even stand on its hind legs. It can also run up to 15 miles per hour, making it to be one of the faster variants out there. Max has a front-facing camera which allows it to perceive its environment. A control algorithm allows it to achieve perfect balance, reaction, and coordination. Max represents another development from Robotics X Lab, which is owned by the very large company called Tencent from China. So it's very likely we will see more cutting edge designs from this particular lab in the future. Now, one of the most incredible robots out there is the Any Mole, a very advanced quadrupedal machine is yet another competitor to the Spot robot. The company which worked on this machine was spun out of ETH Zurich, and they started to develop this particular platform a few years ago. Now it has many capabilities, including obstacle avoidance, localization, and routine inspection. Hardware includes a thermal camera, ultrasonic microphone, and a 4K camera with full pan tilting. Now one really neat mod out there outfitted the Animal with actuated wheels. This included a controller which can break each drive, so oddly enough it can kind of walk with wheels. And this also allows it to outrun its owner with ease. So what will the short term future hold for our four legged autonomous friends? Well, one extreme concept was designed by Amin Akashi. This machine utilizes instruments which can repair electronics and other robots. So it can be used to fix its robotic peers or be used for dangerous maintenance. Now this machine would theoretically carry a 3D laser scanner and an HDR camera for advanced vision. But the way that robotic technology is going, I'm sure it's going to incorporate some of MIT Cheetah 3's technology, where it can actually move without having all these vision systems. It's also very likely to have more advanced human recognition software, but we have to keep in mind that this is just a design and it's not into the prototype phase just yet. But it's very probable that something like the SN3 will be built within the next couple of years. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel.